the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, I have an assignment tonight. Yes, I will pray for the sick. Yes, we will trust God to deliver the oppressed. But more than that, like an Olympic light and an Olympic fire that never dies, I brought something from Africa back to Europe. What the fathers brought to Africa, our fathers held on to this Olympic light, this fire, and by His grace, He's granted us the opportunity to bring it back. The fire that saves, that heals, that delivers, that authentic Christianity, the pursuit of His Majesty, more than things, So I'm trusting that somewhere in this service, before we are done, that fire will move from left, from left to right, to right, from top, from top to bottom, to bottom, and move all over, all over. It's an ignition. It's an ignition. Hallelujah. Please sit down for five minutes and then we pray. Please listen to me. Hear me, London. There is a price for the anointing, there is a price for the glory of God. Hear me. Please listen. The price is more than fasting. The price is more than prayer. The price is more than Bible study. The price is more than church attendance, as important as that is. The price for life is death. This may be an uncomfortable teaching, but if it is God you want to host, only dead men can carry God. The door that leads to life is called death. The door that leads to the throne is called the cross. You must die to live. I have been crucified with Christ, he says. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, that is the body, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Now, please sit down. Let me interpret what is happening to you right now. Because the Bible says, Romans chapter 8 from verse 18. It says, I reckon, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the constraints, Lord, listen, there are many of you, the dealing of God in your life is seeking for interpretation. Because if you do not know, you will think it's the devil. When you want to move forward, others are moving. God says, you stay back. And you don't know why. Lord, what are you up to with my life? Why can't I live a normal life? It's a sign of an anointing looking for you. It's a sign of a grace looking for you. 
Others are sleeping and his majesty wakes you. While they are sleeping, he's saying, pray. Lord, allow me. I want to live a normal life. And then he says, not so for the grace for a generation. Hear me. He will give you instructions that may not make sense. Take now thy son, thy only son whom thou lovest. If you want to be Abraham, then you must be willing to give up Isaac. Only those who give up Isaac are called Abraham. Not those who give birth to Isaac. Those who can give away Isaac. Listen to me. There is a message that our generation is trying to forget. And respectfully, I stand and lend my voice with many across the globe that are bringing this voice back. Not everything is free. There is a price for the glory of God. There is a real price for authentic spiritual power. It will cost you your convenience. It will cost you your ego. It will cost you your reputation. When you want to stand tall, you must learn to go down. The secret of standing is kneeling. The secret to run is to stay. The, the key to your speed in life is your staying power. The more you stay in his presence, the more you run. This is the message that a generation is trying to forget. Listen to me. It is true that the same Lord is rich unto all. God loves everybody, but he does not trust everybody. It takes a track record in the spirit. You can have visions of yourself moving in power and grace whether in business in ministry corporate life and it never manifests because there is a real price oh dear generation hear me there is a real price the price of prayer the price of surrender the price of death where what you want is him not you not your ambition listen the lord told me something years ago he said son if you can see me there is nothing i will not give you and he meant it i stand before the god of heaven in the presence of your pastor in the presence of god's people london europe i have no business building an agenda or an empire for myself no my agenda is not fame I'm not interested in being a celebrity all I want is to be that donkey that his majesty can ride upon and I told him I said Lord if you will ever give me the opportunity to represent your purposes to a generation I am honored I am a man I am not perfect but I am broken listen to me I share with you this is not acting I'm sharing my heart with you if it is God you want to host it will cost you your ego it will cost you your ambition only those who can give him all can carry all of him you want to tell the sick be healed and they are healed it takes more than desire it takes more than kneeling down for a man of God to lay hands on you no there are certain wells you must dig by yourself it is a track record are we together and so I learned by experience that if you seek him and you don't find him is because you did not seek him with all your heart London I appreciate your passion for the things of God otherwise you would not be here I appreciate your honor for me and your precious pastor I thank you for all that you have done I thank you for your love and everything but you have celebrated Joshua Selman thank God for what he's done in my life but let me tell you I introduce to you afresh his majesty 
I introduce to you afresh the God who is bigger than us all. I introduce to you afresh the maker of this man that you so admire. Listen. If all you see is me, you have not seen well. You must see him. My agenda is not to come and build fans. No. More than that, sincerely, he knows that you're all I want. You're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you I need. Yeah, you're all I want. More than fame, more than the reputation. You're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are me. Hear me. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. He's calling you to a place of fresh hunger. This is my message tonight. His power is available. But His power will require a depth of hunger. And if I can find someone that is desperate enough tonight to say, Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart that I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart sing lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord this is my desire i sincerely seek to see the christ revealed and the Christ glorified like John he says that I may decrease it's not self-condemnation it's, it's an attempt to show how much he seeks to see his majesty revealed hear me tonight he's calling you to give up your agenda does not mean to forget about it it means to dethrone it until Christ becomes Lord of it. He's not asking you to not seek prosperity. Don't get me wrong. No. I teach the whole counsel of God. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to increase. He wants you to go forward. You call it a shift. However, he wants to be Lord of all. His jealousy does not allow him to share any space with any other thing. so I made up my mind and I told him Lord if you will give me anything at all that will take your place let it never come I meant it I still mean it any platform any anointing that you will ever give me that will make me shift the attention of a generation from you to me may it never come it is my pledge to see his glory revealed I'm not the only one he has called. It is a generation. It is an honor he's given. And we stand faithful to that which he has given. But hear me, London. I believe 
that the men who will restore the ordinances of God are in this building tonight I believe that the men and the women who will bring back that fire like the days of Gideon like the days of Samson like the days of Elijah the call tonight is the call of death I'm going to give you two prayer points and I want you to pray sincerely because I'm about to speak over your life I want you to find a corner and cry your heart Lord everything I have exalted above you I dethrone it tonight be the center of my life someone is praying someone is crying to God someone is crying All I want is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. All I want pray, is for you, for you to be glorified, for you to be lifted. Fill my life till all they see it is you, Lord. Glorify your name. Fill my life till all they see it is you, Lord. Glorify all I want. For you to be glorified, for you to be lifted, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. Be lifted high, be lifted high. For your glory be lifted high, be lifted high, ah, be lifted high. For your glory be lifted high, we lift you high, we lift you high. For your glory. Pray, Lord, take everything. I surrender everything. Someone is praying. I surrender to you. Everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing Two more minutes Withholding nothing Give myself away Give myself away So you I keep my heart away Keep my heart away So you can use me Hallelujah the last prayer point for tonight you are going to pray father the grace and the unction 
that must come upon my life and turn me into another man and shift me to a, a next dimension of prosperity there is a mighty anointing happening to pastor's wife there is a mighty this, this this conference tonight was designed by god's counsel you see god is touching people but i see an unusual impartation fill me up fill me up fill me up to life a flow by one of our mother one of our over fill me up till I overflow I want to run over fill me up fill me up fill me up fill me up my prayer lord fill me up god fill me up god. fill me up god fill me up fill me up fill me up god And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. I'm speaking to someone. God is about to shift you. I'm standing in this apostolic office by the privilege of God's grace. It's time to move you into a dimension in the spirit. It's in you, Lord. It's in you, Lord. We know. I'm about to pray. Listen. Hallelujah. Pastor, sir. With all due respect, the Lord is giving me a prophetic word. Hear what the Lord is saying. The Lord is speaking three things. Number one, the Lord is saying he's multiplying the influence of Dr. Shola all over London. Yes, this is what God is saying. That he's giving you grace for kings. Grace for kings. You will raise kings. This is what the Spirit of God is telling me. And the Lord is telling me again that he's multiplying your honor for the lord is saying i have seen your faithfulness even in the midst of fire this is what the spirit of god is saying and that a thousand cubits has been measured for you and it's time to go deeper he will multiply your influence i'm seeing god raise strange people to stand by you financially strange people believe me to stand by you and lift up the ministry that the liberty church will become not just a place of transformation but a place of strength revival it will happen by the power of the spirit this grace you see tonight i will not go back with it it will rest with this church believe me I want to pray please understand that this is not pride it is the privilege of God's grace to carry this mantle for a generation I'm not the only one there are many scattered across Europe Africa and across you have only met one of them
But tonight, if you will believe the words that I release upon you, hear me, London. I did not call myself. The grace you honor is the grace that comes upon you. I'm standing in my office and I'm declaring right now anyone called a ministry here hear me I'm about to extend my hand and let a strange grace for encounters and hunger at the count of three father I pray all over London and everyone who is following online America Europe Africa Asia in the name of Jesus at the count of three let there be that impartation a call a call I open up the well spring up the wells one get ready two three take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now in the name of Jesus I shift you by prophecy a new dimension in ministry the healing anointing is coming on people right now take that grace in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah the grace for intercessors this is what God is showing me God is birthing intercessory ministries here tonight I'm seeing many women in the order of Deborah where are they London I awaken Deborah's I blow the shofar I sound the alarm in the name of Jesus Deborah's arise Deborah's arise women with the strength of nations I call for warriors in the mighty name of Jesus who will stand at the gate like the wise men of Shiloh I decree and declare that grace falls upon you that grace falls upon you hallelujah hallelujah who is David David I'm hearing a name David you are holding the picture of someone called David who is that is a picture David is there someone like that you came with a photo look at this come what's his name David son yes he's a home this boy is going to be a mighty man of God mighty mighty awesome God how great our you alone mighty are your miracles standing on of your home Lord we bow and worship hallelujah I release grace upon that boy Jonathan who is Jonathan Jonathan where are you you're a man of God are you Jonathan come your life is about to change come sir in this ministry are you part of this ministry now I'm going to pray for you but you will go and pastor Shola will lay hands there is a grace on his life please forget about whether you know him or not just just believe what I'm telling you hold my hand sir shout Jesus as loud as you can grace I shift you in the spirit you step into a new dimension pastor sir as pastor lays hands on you there is an impartation of grace that is coming upon you hallelujah now hear me hear me there are people who are called into the prophetic ministry but there has been no one to open your heavens in that regard in the name of Jesus I'm stretching my hands now from the front to the back the balcony everywhere I stand by the spirit Lord anyone who is called to speak the purposes of God to the nations 
the seeing eyes and the hearing ear at the count of three that grace falls on you one two three take the prophetic take the prophetic strange dreams visions operations of the spirit in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen I want to pray our time is up but I will pray quickly before I pray for the sick I want to release the healing anointing you see we cannot lose the healing ministry the ministry of signs and wonders must be preserved he said except ye see miraculous signs and wonders you will not believe we live in an unbelieving generation that must see the signs in addition to the truth of God's word I am not ashamed of the gospel he says for it is the power of God I believe that there are people here who will carry that grace before I pray for the sick I want to release that grace now it has nothing to do with gender it has nothing to do with being a man of God it has everything to do with hunger father at the count of three everywhere within this auditorium lord there are people who have fasted and prayed for the grace genuine grace for the ministry of signs and wonders i stretch my hands at the count of three like the dew of hammon let it fall one parus kadasiata two get ready here it comes like a whirlwind three take that grace help them please help them my god take that grace take that grace from the front to the back take that grace up the balcony take that grace may that grace find you i shift you by the spirit new dimensions in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now come it's over new level you are trusting god for a miracle very quickly lay your hands lay your hands right there by the way i know that i have a few minutes left just a few minutes i'll do my best to wrap up but before i wrap up we will agree as a church and speak over the coronavirus we thank God for what the governments of nations are doing. But the church is the authorized entity to allow or disallow. And we're going to take our place tonight and send that virus back from where it came from. But I want to pray for the sick now. This is our final session. I know that many of you came trusting God for healing. Listen, miracles are real. Miracles are real. They are a manifestation of the mercy and the love of God. No shadow you will light up. Mountain you will climb up. Coming after me. No wall you will. Coming after me. All right, lay your hands there now. Thank you, Jesus. Just lay your hands there. I want to pray for you now. I believe in miracles. You don't have to come out right where you are. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus I believe Jesus God is touching people there is healing in your name now agree with me in the name of Jesus come on London in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command every devil of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you be gone in the name of Jesus every spirit of infirmity 
by the power that raised Christ help them please I command be gone now be set free in the name of Jesus now I declare over the sick be healed in the name of Jesus every blood disease be healed in the name of Jesus blind eyes open in the name of Jesus those who are on crutches or on a wheelchair be healed now in the name of Jesus deaf ears partial total deafness be healed now ulcers of all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus every cardiovascular disease be healed from it in the name of Jesus every bone condition in the name of Jesus be healed now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare healing for you now now I apologize in advance we may not have the time to take testimonies but you can always register your testimony I believe that there might be an email or or you can meet one of the officials and just let them know that this is what has happened to me there will be so many testimonies from this conference <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah two more assignments and I'm done listen please listen very carefully prophecy is very powerful it not only reveals it can create the more superior dimension of the prophetic is not the revelatory dimension I demonstrated this yesterday the more superior dimension of the prophetic is the grace that makes us what has no business happening to happen by this time tomorrow he was not revealing what would happen he made it happen the Lord wants to make things happen in our lives now and he said son of man can these bones live again and the prophet said only thou knowest listen the prophetic is powerful now I I know and I agree that it has been insulted here and there and there has been exaggerations and people have handled the prophetic without character and people have done a lot of things and even dabbled into all kinds of activities of divination I know the church is like a patient however Christ is still in the midst of her but please do not make the mistake of believing that just because there are perversions here and there every manifestation of the prophetic is ungodly you are wrong if you think so there are people who have paid the price and by the privilege of the election of grace they've been vested with the ability to create possibilities over the lives of others can I pray for you I stand as one who is sent by the privilege of God's grace in agreement with the angel over this house the man that God has set and so honored yet again tonight and in the name of Jesus I cry that my father who is my maker and the maker of men that you would hearken to every word now I decree over this auditorium London hear me I stand in the name of Jesus every closed door over your life over your destiny I speak a father be open a father be open be open be open be open financial doors open spiritual doors be open career doors be open I shift you by prophecy step into new levels step into new dimensions I shift you overnight step into prepared blessings
number two the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon listen there are men called destiny helpers they have an assignment they are mandated and authorized to hold your hand and lift you to the next level i prophesy to the north of london the south the east the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are in three months 90 days by the spirit of prophecy like the ark of god in the house of prophet edom i told them show up now destiny help us show up now destiny help us show up now listen once upon a time the bible says elisha was with the sons of the prophet and he said where we meet with you is too straight let us go beyond the jordan and while they were felling the trees the axe head fell and he said alas master for it was borrowed let me prophesy because there are people here under financial pressure and listen i respect the laws of economics but from scripture every time a man was under any kind of pressure it took prophecy to bring them out therefore i speak to your bills i speak to your finances hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus rise to a new level i shift you to a new level please believe it financially in the name of jesus i call for help us i cause debt i cause financial troubles in the name of jesus hallelujah please look at me the psalmist said many a day that rise up against me it says many a day that say where is your help but then he says but thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory help me and the lifter up i pray whatever has brought you down in the name of jesus may the lifter of men lift you tonight may the lifter of men lift you tonight liberty church london rise to a new level hallelujah hallelujah revelation chapter one he said i john was in the spirit on the lord's day and he went to the throne room and then chapter one chapter two chapter three he had revelations but when we get to chapter four he hears a voice even in heaven and it says come up here no matter what level you have gotten to in life there is still space for more therefore i speak to you liberty church london europe in the name of jesus come up here rise to a new level arise shine arise shine arise shine arise shine in the name of jesus listen the donkey of Saul gets missing and for three days they keep looking for that donkey and they cannot find it and then the servant says there is a man of God Samuel let us go to that holy man of God the moment Samuel meets David Saul he said is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be king over Israel and he pronounced three blessings number one he said the donkey that is missing has been back home let me call what has left your life that should not have left relationships resources in the name of Jesus everything that has left your life by the power of prophecy it returns back to you tonight it returns back to you tonight in the name of Jesus hallelujah number two he told him 
he said as you go back you will see three men each holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give to you somebody say favor i decree and declare over your life someone must love you enough to invest in your success this season receive favor obtain grace and favor esther 2 verse 15 i speak it over your life carry that anointing favor in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the evening in the name of jesus number three he said you will come to the garrison of the philistines and there the hand of the lord will come upon you and when you read in the later verses they said is saul also one of the prophets i want to speak over your life london as we wrap up this conference every dimension you have desired spiritually financially in the name of jesus i agree with your pastor by the power that raised christ from the dead receive that grace now help them please receive that grace now hallelujah let me give you two instructions number one please ensure that the fire on your altar never goes down some of you will need to go back home and husband wife you need to talk about it we must come up with a program for our spiritual development it is no longer going to be haphazard what do we do in the morning what do we do in the night some of you need to go back and come up with an intentional program for your spiritual growth you're not going to open the bible at random and just read anything no make up your mind to know the lord make up your mind to invest in your spirit make up your mind to buy books your pastor has got some books they are rich materials you can get it listen to it he says and that from a child thou has known the holy scripture that is able to make you wise unto salvation number two make up your mind that you're going to be connected as much as possible to what god is doing in and through this ministry you see let me tell you and and i believe this and this is not i've, I've not even spoken with pastor i believe listen to me i believe that god sends people to ministries and connects them there are we together now it is sometimes you can choose based on what you want i like this man but there is the connection of destiny you will need to locate yourself with the grace the grace that is responsible for your lifting when god called samuel he used the voice of eli he did not use an echo they that be planted in the house of god they shall flourish in the courts of our god even in old age the bible says they will be fat and flourishing hallelujah praise the lord our time is gone i've been instructed that i lead us to take our offering have we taken our offering let me bring out mine can you bring out your offering let me pray and speak over it remember that these things are done with understanding and with revelation please very quickly our time is up and then just the final word and we're done let me just pray because our time is done please bring out your offering i want to speak over it in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins. Now, two things very quickly. If, if you need an, an offering envelope, just, just wave your hands and there's someone, okay, please help them. They're officials. Please keep it, keep it lifted. Keep it lifted and someone will reach you very quickly with an envelope. Now, listen. 
while this is happening i want to make an altar call spare me one minute we're doing all this at the same time it is important that we do this i want you to know that the foundation of the faith life is coming to jesus with brokenness to receive his life the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life there are two categories of people here tonight the first category is saying apostle he's saying apostle i really want to make it right with jesus all through the days of this conference and now tonight i do not want to wrap up this conference and go back the same there are others who are saying apostle i found myself loving the lord but for some reason my life has gone haywire and i need a restoration those two categories wherever you are i want you to take the bold step very quickly please come stand before me right now celebrate them as they come someone is running to jesus are you celebrating salvation please stand don't kneel because of space i have decided to follow jesus no turning back come no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn keep coming celebrate them as they come i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back I salute and i celebrate please look at me just just a moment oh my god that adorable girl she's coming for the altar call too come 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 oh i love this lady celebrate her come come darling what's her name now now listen to me I really love children and you love me I love you too thank you <laughs> hallelujah I pray where's the mom mom where are you please take care of this girl she's a gift don't cry I know the Bible says train up a child in the way he should go look at this adorable child loving Jesus serving Jesus only God can tell what she will become I, w I just i just brought her to just love on her and then to make it a lesson don't serve jesus alone as for me and my house i pray for you my dear you will serve jesus you will serve the god of your parents and i have a little gift for you do you mind this is for you, god bless you. thank you thank you Now, thank you. I celebrate every one of you. A card will be given. Am I right? Okay, let me just have one. Okay, um, I'm not sure. Do you have it? I'm not sure they have it. Do they have the card? Okay, a card will be given to you. It's a decision card. Please do well to fill it. Um, I don't know if you can do it immediately. If you can get a pen, please. If you don't have a pen, just wave your hands. Someone will reach you. Fill it legibly. And... Um, I believe that your officials you will give it to immediately but then i want to lead you thank you so much for the courage to come and to make this decision and i'm honored to lead you um, it's a noble decision it's a noble decision lift your right hand if you will please just suspend what you're doing for a moment lift your right hand let it be true let it be sincere you're not reciting a poem jesus is here let it be from the depth of your heart say after me every one of you standing we can back them up everyone say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you are the son of god tonight i declare that you are my lord you are my savior 
you are my king i obtain remission of my sin and i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and i declare that from tonight i go forward ever and backward never amen and amen keep your hands lifted let me pray jesus i present to you the ones you died for and i thank you for drawing these ones no one can come to the father except by jesus i bless you the grace that keep may that grace keep you go from glory to glory in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen okay now all of you please this way all of you in concert just move to my left which is your right and just for two three minutes the officials will just help coordinate what you're doing please all of you let's celebrate them as they go everyone please everyone hallelujah now remember we're about to receive the offering uh let me just do this quickly i'm honored to have my my auntie and my uncle here it was a big surprise and please i want to honor i want you to help me and i love them very much and i'm honored they're somewhere here i believe please stand please stand that's my uncle my auntie mommy susan daddy isaiah i York. celebrate them do it for me celebrate them do it for me london oh please ask okay i'm told that they come forward please let's honor them come on now they are my parents here so do it for me do it for me celebrate them celebrate them amen hallelujah please lift up your offering lift up your offering and let us bless it thank you sir thank you ma i am so honored so honored so honored please celebrate them one more time thank you thank you thank you hallelujah please lift your offering and let me just speak over it the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency he says that you abound to all good works i speak over your offering i declare it blessed i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit I command your offering to go all around London to gather its kind and return to you a thousandfold in the name of Jesus may your seed tonight bruise the head of the serpent by this seed I declare rise above financial shame rise above financial pressure in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now let me just say something I just felt stirred up in my spirit that there are a few of you here the lord is going to place it in your heart this is this is something that just came just to bless pastor and tell him thank you after the service you can see him or and i just sense it in my spirit that there are people here that the lord will speak to this is this is not some fundraising no we're people of integrity but we're also people of truth the holy spirit just spoke to me that he is going to be leading some of you to just come and meet pastor and his wife to say thank you for the sacrifice of hosting this program this is what i have to just love on you to just celebrate you for making this happen and if that is you after the service or somewhere please just find the, the leaders will direct you on how to do it and let's just honor and bless this precious precious man of god we love him come on give it up for dr shola and his dear wife thank you hallelujah your offering is blessed in jesus name please pass it round. how do we pass it round? very quickly very quickly very quickly um ushers will come just be patient ushers will come while that is happening please listen this is my last night tomorrow i'm back but i want you to know first dr shola and your dear wife thank you for your love the hospitality you liberty church you have an awesome team the protocol the 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 worship team my god they call them the the liberty sounds the sounds of liberty <laughs> hallelujah i'm sure i'm sure that um one of these days we'll pick our own worship team and bring them here so that you will just have a concert in london and just just shame the devil hallelujah amen praise the name of the lord 
london thank you i'm always aware it's one thing to be called it's one thing to be anointed but when you have a generation believe in you love you many of you have gone so far to get our teachings to so many people by the way you can get all of our teachings go to koinonia downloads.org is free just get the teachings it's my contribution to the spiritual growth of his generation so please do well to get the teachings listen to them for your spiritual edification are we together london i want you to know that i do not take your trust your honor and your love for granted i love you with all my heart and i decree and declare that you will go from glory to glory in the name of jesus and for my uncle and my auntie thank you thank you so much i love you with all my heart the lord bless you thank you london god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline 